Okay, uh, so coming to empirical strategy, how are we going about identifying the impact of the of the policy change? So we make uh, so before coming to that, I'll just show you this uh, graph. Uh, this is the pre-reform period's FSI utilization in Mumbai. Pre-2018, pre the reform period, we took out the FSI numbers from each of these applications and we plotted it on this graph for the pre-reform period. And what we find is that the it's binding like most of the applications in both the treatment and the control group have a cap at 2.7. Uh, so uh, most building applications, and there is a distribution, like, which is the denominator. And the numerator here is that what is the new uh, new housing stock that is built in 2014-15, what is it built in 2016-17. And we find that pre-reform, that every year 1.5% of the total housing stock is added in uh, in Mumbai. And just remember that Mumbai is kind of a stabilized city in terms of population. And again, that might be because of the stringent FSI and, uh, and prices. And I'm going to get into all of this complicated stuff later on, but uh, all this in relationship with population later on. But in 2011, from the 2011 census, we know that Mumbai's population has stabilized. And despite that of the overall stock, but post reform, we see that it's gone up to 2.2. So there has been a 0.7 percentage point increase in housing uh, supply post reform. And if you speak to people in Mumbai who've been staying for the 15, 20 years, you are going to get these anecdotal stories that property prices have fallen in Mumbai if they want to sell their 